So your 16 year old son is isolating more and more during quarantine and is fearful of the outside world, not socializing. What do you do? Well, we're going to talk about that today on Tips on Teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in helping kids, teens, and families live happier lives. I lead two organizations, the Group Practice Teen Therapy Center and the nonprofit 501c3 organization, Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California. Every Wednesday at noon, I jump on Facebook Live to answer your parenting questions. Let's jump into today's. I have a 16-year-old son that before the pandemic used to go out and socialize with his friends. Due to the pandemic, he wasn't able to see his friends much. I've noticed that when his friends asked him to hang out, he would come up with an excuse not to go, and now he's lost touch with many of them. I've tried to encourage him to make new friends, but he seems to be afraid of leaving the house. I'm worried he is isolating too much and becoming fearful of the outside world. How can I help my son venture out and make more friends without being so fearful? Great question. Thank you for the topic. There's a lot going on here. First, I would encourage you to make sure that you're a safe place for him to talk about what's going on with him. What is he afraid of? Is he afraid of being judged? Is he afraid of, you know, his friends won't accept him back? Hopefully his friends would accept him back. I see oftentimes friends do. Um, but I want to know what's going on there because we all have this judge inside of our head, right? And for teenagers, it's very loud and often a very belligerent judge. You know, all the worst things that we can see about ourselves is front and center. I'm stupid. I'm ugly. Uh, this, you know, all the horrible things that we think about ourselves is right there. And it's just constantly in his head, right? And for his 16 year old brain, he may be unconsciously projecting that out into the world. So everywhere he goes, he feels everyone's watching him and judging him. And in fact, if he's been isolated and hidden for 15 months, it may seem very real to him that, oh my gosh, I go to the grocery store, everyone in the store is looking at me. It's not rational and it's not real. And he may, uh, may in some way understand that, but he just can't get past that. So it may be something that you may need help with a therapist to help process some of that anxious, those anxious feelings and those symptoms of anxiety, maybe even group therapy. It's hard to find groups for teen boys. I do run one. So if you're local in the Woodland Hills area, I do run a group called the guys group focused on teenage boys struggling with self-esteem, needing more social support, but that may not be in your area. Um, so what I want to do is again, help him reach out to his other friends, but also at home, we want to make sure he doesn't just isolate into his screens. If he's on his Xbox or his iPad or his computer or his phone, 16, 18 hours a day, he's not helping him. He needs to find time out to get out of that. So you may need to set some structure around that. So he's not on a screen. You may need to set some boundaries and guidelines that you can follow as well. So for example, let's say from time X to time Y, you say no screens, but if you're there, on your computer or your tablet, your phone, he's gonna see that as incredibly, hip, there's a lot of hypocrisy going on. So instead, set a time when all of you can be off screens. So you can sit and you know, hang out and play a board game, make dinner together, go to, go to the beach, go, you know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what you're doing, is that you're doing, that's important. Make sure that he's socializing with you and feeling comfortable and safe with you. If he's refusing to do that, again, getting a therapist involved can be helpful. Another thing, he's 16. He could go do some volunteer work somewhere. It's not as fun as a video game. I get it. He can also get a job. I think a summer job or high school jobs for kids are fantastic. They're great ways to learn skills that you'll never learn in school. Customer service, how to be on time, how to you know multitask in different ways in school can ever teach you. You know, having that job at that yogurt shop or that clothing store or the grocery store or movie theater is going to teach him so many valuable life skills and job skills. He's just not going to learn a math class. And I think that's really important. Also helps him learn how to manage money and it gives him a sense of something to do. It's too late to get him to summer camp. Summer's already started and they're all full. And uh, he's not in any other social engagements. He's not in school. So it's hard for him to just meet people. But if he's look, working at the local burger shop, there are other teenagers there he can start talking to. Um, there's a lot of options for you. Don't try to do this alone. Get help. Get other cousins involved, aunts and uncles. Find other people to, get, to engage with him. But again, it's getting him off screen sometimes, so he has to do something else. 
Anyways, that's our question for today. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be off Tips on Teens the next two weeks. I'm going to be out of town for a little while, uh, but I'll be back in mid-July answering your parenting questions. So please email us your questions at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com or direct messages right here on Facebook. We love your questions. Again, my name is Kent Toussaint from Teen Therapy Center and Child and Teen Counseling, and I'll see you in a few weeks, guys. Bye-bye.